أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته and welcome to another one of your G2 classes I hope and pray that today everyone is doing well um, and Jazakumullah to everyone for arriving to the class today on time now as always we're going to start off our class with an opening prayer and for that I request the student to come to the mic if I can please have student G2726 uh, to come to the mic. Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum salam. How are you doing today? I'm good. How are you? I'm good too, alhamdulillah. Jazakumullah for asking. So if you'd like to start off with the awud and tasmiya, and then I'll lead you into the recitation, okay? Okay. أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم. Okay, well done. If you'd like to repeat after me, ربنا تقبل منا ربنا تقبل منا إنك إنك well done, mashallah. And would you also like to read out the English for me? Our Lord, accept from us, for you are all hearing, all knowledge. All knowing. All knowing. Well done, well done. That's Surah Al-Baqarah, verse 120. Uh, can my brother read? Um, is your Does your brother have an ID? Yes. What's his ID? G2725. Okay, so when I'm when we go on to the... Oh, today we have the breakout room system in place, so I won't be able to call him to the mic unless he's in my room. So um, he's going to go into breakout rooms afterwards, and inshallah he should be called up. If not today, okay. it's pretty soon, Okay. Okay. for coming to the mic. Take care. Allah Hafiz. Allah Hafiz. Okay, so just before we uh, go into what we are covering today, let's take a look at our class etiquettes. Make sure you've done your ablution, you're wearing clean clothes, and that your head is covered. Um, sitting in a quiet place is very, very important just so that we can eliminate any background noise or distraction and so that it's just clearer for us to hear you. Um, it should be very, it's very important that your parents are present as well, just to help you if there are any sort of te uh, technical difficulties. And also, please, please make sure that you have signed in with the correct IDs, as only correct IDs will be called to the mic. So use the time right now to quickly go to the participant list, find yourself, and then use the rename facility to rename yourself if need be. Okay. Now, in today's lesson, as you know, it's a Friday, it's a breakout room session. Um, we've already had our opening dua. I'm just going to give a quick run through of the rules and the uh, letters that were covered during the course of this week. And then inshallah at around 10 past six, we shall open up the breakout rooms. Okay. We are going to try our best to call as many students to the mic as possible. We do have a list of people that we call to the mic and people that we are missing out because uh, of the shortage of time. Uh, however, we will try our very, very best to call those students next lesson if you are one of those that are not called to the mic, okay? So um, please do bear, uh, bear with us with this. Now, let me just quickly take out the PDF. Okay, so during Monday uh, in your lesson, you all went through the uh, rule of combining. So you all understood that if there is a mushaddad letter, it would join to the most recent mutaharrik letter and we will ignore any sort of letters in between. So in other words, a mushaddad letter is a letter that's got a shadda on top, okay? Or a tashdeed on top. Tashdeed is that little W sign, okay? So obviously, whenever you see that sign, you have to join it to a letter. You have to combine it. Hence why we call it combining the rule. Now, when we are joining it to a letter, we have to join it to the correct letter. And the correct letter would be the most recent mutaharrik letter. Uh, a mutaharrik letter is uh, a vowel letter, a letter that could have a fatha, fatha da maqasra, vertical fatha, 
you know, vertical kasra, inverted dhamma, it could have any stroke of tanveen, those letters are mutaharik letters, okay? Uh, and then on Tuesday, you all went through the rule of nasalization, which we found out actually that uh, it's it's a special case of tashdeed, okay? So initially, the rule is the same as tashdeed. When we are joining letters together, we join it to the most recent mutaharik letter. We know that if we are joining a letter to a mushadded letter, we should be pressing on it, right? We should put pressure on it. Uh, and with nasalization, it's initially the same thing, but there is this wunna sound that we are making. Now, wunna is the, uh, it's an Arabic word. Uh, so try and familiarize uh, yourself with this word as well. But wunna is basically a sustained nasal sound, okay? A sound that comes from your nose and you keep, there, keep that sound there for at least two seconds okay it has can't be less than two seconds and this rule of wunna can only occur on neem mushaddad and noon mushaddad okay as i said it's a special case of the shteed it doesn't occur on all of the the shteed uh, mushaddad letters it can only occur on neem mushaddad or noon mushaddad okay so if in your breakout room lesson today your teacher asks you okay so tell me what are the two wunna letters you're not just going to say neem and noon, you're going to say neem mushaddad and noon mushaddad because this is a rule all to do with the shteed, but a is a special case of the shteed, which I mentioned earlier on. Now, on Wednesday, you all had a presentation, you all went through the three quls. And most importantly, Surah An Nas has got a lot of examples where noon mushaddad is present, and it's a great sort of you to apply your understanding of a there as well. I believe I went through that surah on Tuesday. Um, but there were at the end of every verse, there are literally um, there is an example of Nun Mushaddad. So that's very good Suda to revise over and over again if you are wanting to recap the rule of nasalization. Then uh, on Thursday, you all had a revision session. Um, so you all learned about the Mushaddad letters, basically the rule of combining again. So the Mushaddad letter joining to the most recent Mutaharik letter. Uh, and you also learned about how nasalization is a special case of tashdeed. So that was just a quick recap session, um, just so that you're not learning too many rules all at once. You, at least you have a chance to recap everything that you've been taught so far. Now, you should make sure that during your free time, you are recapping these rules, not just the ones that you've learned during the week, but the ones before as well, because active recall uh, will lead you to remember those rules for longer and be able to apply them. But if you just learn the rule once and don't go over it, then that rule is not going to make sense to you or stick to you. So revising uh, the rule as much as you can is very important. Then you all went through, uh, you know, five, five minutes of your day are dedicated to the letter of the day. So we all went through Jean on uh, Monday. And we said that the sound of jeem comes from the middle of the tongue touching the roof of the mouth, jeem. Okay, and as I'm saying jeem, try and repeat it at home as well, okay? Jeem. Then dal, we said that the sound comes from the tip of the tongue touching the junction of the front two upper teeth and gums. In simpler words, you get the tip of your tongue and you touch the top part so you know where your upper teeth are, just right behind it where the gum is? That's where you're touching the top, uh, tip of the tongue, okay? And that's how you get the sound of the, right? The sound of the b is very, very easy. You just get the wet parts of your lips and you press them together, b, okay? Sound of cough is very, very um, important because a lot of the time people tend to mix it up with the simple sound gaf but they are very different. The sound of qaf comes from the furthest back part of the tongue, touching the roof of the mouth. And uh, it almost blocks the throat when you're saying it. So you can try saying it now as well, qaf, yeah? Notice how I'm giving a slight round mouth here as well. So qaf, b, dal, and jean, okay? So just to recap everything we've gone through, we learned that a mushaddad letter is a letter that carries a tashdeed or a shadda. It will join to the most recent mutaharik letters. Any sort of letters in between that are blank, you tend to miss them out or you ignore them because any letter that's a sakin letter or a mushaddad letter will always join to the most recent mutaharik letter. Okay, so mushaddad letter is a letter that has got a tashdeed on top. And uh, a sakin letter is a letter that's got a sukun, um, in other words, a jism on top.
okay? With nasalization, it's initially the same thing. You give a sustained nasal sound, and it's a special case because it's mean mushaddad and noon mushaddad, and you're holding down on the sound for, a, for at least two seconds, if not more, okay? Um, and then you had your presentation on three calls, which uh, hopefully was beneficial and understandable to, uh, for you guys all. Now, having said that, if I can just confirm with our breakout room coordinator, um, if the breakout rooms are ready, Asalaamu Alaikum. Wa Alaikum Asalaam wa Rahmatullah. Yes, just give me a second. Sure, that's all right. Okay, so you'll get a pop-up on your screen, everyone, asking you to join a breakout room. Make sure you accept that invitation and enter the breakout rooms, okay? And also make sure you've signed in with the uh, correct IDs because only the correct IDs can be called to the mic, okay? So in a moment, when you get the message asking you to join the breakout room, please do that. Jazakumullah. Okay, so we're just going to wait quickly for a second or two to let everyone come back in our main session again. If I can please confirm with the breakout room coordinator that all the students are back in the classroom. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam wa rahmatullah. Yes, everyone is back. Okay, jazakumullah. Okay, so alhamdulillah, we had another one of our breakout room sessions. Um, Again, mashallah, I'm very happy to hear all of you guys come to the mic to see how well you guys are able to apply the rules. I do think a, a lot of practice is uh, needed when it comes to throat letters, okay? So your throat letters are very important, okay? Remember, ghain and kha, these are throat letters. They come from the top of the throat. Ha and, uh, ha and ayn, these are uh, throat letters uh, and the sounds come from the middle of the throat. And alif, Hamza and her, the sound come from the bottom of the throat more towards the chest, okay? So it's very, very important that we are aware of the throat letters and that we're able to apply the understanding and the right pronunciation of them when we are reciting the Holy Quran, okay? So that's very, very important. Now, in terms of the homework, you have all been asked to recite these chapters that we've covered. So we're looking at Surah Al-Falaq, Surah Al-Nas, Surah Al-Ikhlas, Surah Al-Kafirun, Surah Al-Ma'un, Surah Al-Quraysh, and Surah Al-Bayyina, okay? So a lot of surahs, you don't have to revise all of them, but try and practice at least two or three of them so that you get, you get a chance to apply the rules that you have revised so far or you have learned so far, okay? Um, I have noticed a lot of people are confusing the ghunna the rule of wunna to the rule of combining in the shteed. The wunna is literally like the rule of the shteed. The only difference is that wunna can only occur on mean mushaddad and noon mushaddad, okay? But it's a special case because you have to give like a nasal sound, a sustained nasal sound, and you keep that sound there for a good two seconds, okay? For example, if I show you um, Surah an nas over here, I highlighted all the places where Noon Mushadil was present or where we could apply the understanding of Ghunna uh, here, okay? So if you all follow along, قُلْ أَعُوذُ بِرَبِّ النَّاسِ مَلِكِ النَّاسِ now, can you hear? I'm putting a lot of time on the Noon and that's because it's Noon Mushadil and it's one of our Ghunna letters. So this is what we mean by sustained nasal sound for anyone that was wondering, okay? Now we're going to uh, finish off our class today with a closing prayer. Um, and for that, I will call a student to the mic. Uh, if I can please have student, I had a student written down beforehand, G2725. Student G275, I'm gonna, I'm asking you to unmute yourself. Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum salam. How are you doing today? Good. Alhamdulillah. Did you get a chance to be called into the uh, breakout room sessions? Yes, I did. Okay, that's really, really good. I was just making sure that you were called because, um, you know, at the beginning we wanted to call you to the mic. Okay, now do you want to start off with the awud and the smiya and then I'll lead you into the recitation, okay? Okay. 
أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم Good, well done. Now if you'd like to repeat after me. Okay. اللهم رحمني اللهم رحمني بالقرآن العظيم بالقرآن العظيم واجعله لي واجعله لي إماما و إماما و نورا و نورا و هدى و رحمة هدى و رحمة Mashallah, very, very nice recited indeed. Jazakumullah. And do you want to also read out the English translation for me? Okay. Oh Allah, have mercy on me to the Quran the Great and make it for me the leader, the light, the guidance, and the mercy. Well done, Mashallah. Very, very nicely recited. Um, G2725. Uh, now I'm just going to ask you a quick question. Um, yeah. Here. There's a meme, Mushaddad. What rule are we going to apply here? Nasalization. Good, well done. So this is the rule of nasalization. And how long shall we keep the sustained nasal sound for? How many seconds? Two seconds. Good, well done. So here, humbar, we're putting a good two second sound there, okay? Yes. Jazakumullah for that. Uh, mashallah, very well remembered. Take care of yourself. Allah Hafiz. Allah Hafiz. Okay, so that was it for today's class, everybody. Jazakumullah to everyone for arriving to the class today. And, um, you know, I hope this lesson was beneficial for you all. Keep practicing the rules as much as you can. Uh, and inshallah, we hope to catch you all in another class very, very soon. Until then, take care of yourself. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu.